Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Super Smash Bros. Melee onto your computer, as well as play it online using Netplay. So let's jump right into this. So first you're going to want to get your copy of Super Smash Bros. Melee and use CleanRip to extract it onto a flash drive. The link in the description will show you how to do that if you do not know how to do so. I don't recommend using an ISO off another website, but if you absolutely have to, just make sure the version is 1.2. Don't be surprised if you have problems though. Anyways. Let's go ahead and make a folder on the desktop. We're going to call it Netplay. This will be the folder for everything we will cover in this video. So plug your flash drive into your computer and drag the ISO into the folder. Now, I already actually have a folder with the ISO in it, but we're just going to pretend that I went and did it. So dragging the ISO into the folder, and here it is. Now that we have the ISO, we must download the Dolphin emulator. Link to this is also in the description. So I'm actually going to go into my documents and open my Netplay folder. That's my ISO right there. That's my SSBM. That's Super Smash Bros. Man. That's my ISO. And that is the Dolphin emulator right there. After you've downloaded the emulator, you're going to want to drag it into your Netplay folder. Once you're finished with that, we're ready to begin setting it all up. Now, open Dolphin. And <clears throat> there should be some text right about here where my mouse is. Now I know there's a game here. I've already ha I already have it all set up. So there should be some text on your screen where my mouse is. You're going to want to double click that text and set the destination to your Netplay folder. Because what that does, it's going to read the Netplay folder and it's going to read all the games in it. And it's going to pick up your new ISO that you've put into your folder. So after you set the destination to the Netplay folder, Super Smash Bros. should now pop up and will be playable. Now I've already done all of that and more and I will go into details about these other mods you see right here in a separate video, but for now let's just set up Netplay and get you online. So right click your game and click properties. Then click on AR codes and make sure you have global melee Netplay settings checked. Then click on your config and make sure to have enable cheats checked right here. You can customize other stuff like audio, this stuff is not really too important. And then go into graphics and what I use is OpenGL. Um, I don't know how the other ones work, I've always used OpenGL. I have show FPS checked, um, enhancements, I use the native resolution, I kind of just make it as big as I want it to be using the window. Hacks, you don't have to touch, advanced, you don't have to touch, leave that blank. And then set up your controller settings. So click on controllers, click on configure, and basically just find your gamepad and then just bind the buttons to it. So click on tools, start netplay, and set this option right here to traversal. And you're going to see nickname, connect, and host. Set your nickname to whatever name you want it to be. And then connect and host is if you're connecting to your friend, you're going to want to go to the connect tab. And if you're hosting for your friend or your, whoever you're playing online, you're going to want to click on the host tab. So We'll just say we're hosting. So we're going to click on host and right here it shows your games that you have and you're not in the Netplay folder. So here we have three games because I have three in mine. You're going to want to click on your Super Smash Bros. Melee. That one should be the only one you see. You're going to click on host and it's going to bring your little lobby up. Now, you know, it's a simple lobby. You can talk to your friend once they connect, but there's two important things to know in this lobby and that's your ID and your buffer. Now your ID at the top, this is what your friend uses to connect. So you're going to click copy and it automatically copies the ID for you. And you send this to your friend and they go through the connect tab and they type it in and hit connect to join the lobby. Now when they join, they're going to have a ping. The ping, you're going to want to adjust accordingly. And what I mean by that is the buffer down here. If they have a 20 ping, you're going to want to set the buffer to 2. If they have 30, you're going to want to set that to 3. 40, you're going to want to set that to 4. It just set, set it in tenths. And the reason behind this is to reduce latency between the two of you. Now there's one thing to note, and that's you can't set that to 1 because the game will crash. I don't know why, but once your friend joins and you uh, adjust the buffer, uh, you're ready to start playing online. Just click on Start, opens it right up, and you're good to go. Now to find people online, I use the website called SmashLadder.com. And what that is, is it's a website that will match you up against people who also are using that play and are also playing on the same melee that's why you have to have 1.2 so what you do is you come onto the website like so and this is the little lobby right here so like if I wanted to play these guys I would just click on their names and click play and they would send me their code and I would connect 
Anyways, thanks for watching my first ever tutorial. I hope it was enjoyable and easy to understand. And I'll see you guys online. Peace.